Essentially, this is being locked in a room with your very, very vocal atheist friend. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Heretic. This is a movie that had a really cool trailer, a very cool concept, very interesting idea, that being these two missionary girls come to this guy's house, who just so happens to be Hugh Grant. What initially starts as a conversation about religion and the Mormon religion, then devolves into a hat and mouse kind of game, and these girls are trying to figure out how to get out of this place alive. That's kind of the initial trailer for it, but it does have like a pretty cool concept in terms of someone trying to break down someone's idea of religion and what it means in coincidence with regular everyday society. I'm never gonna look at Monopoly the same way again because of this movie. It is very much a lecture in some ways, at least initially. The beginning of this movie is really solid. The chemistry between the two sisters is really well done. I liked their chemistry. I liked how they came across with their own characters very well. You could see distinguishing factors of one clearly being grown up in the church while the other has a history of some sort that is not alluded to, but kind of has some form of notes here and there. When you meet Hugh Grant, you're already kind of like, eh, that's a little weird, but he's got that rom-com voice, so they're kind of pulled in as we are, and while what he's talking about is obviously a bit weird, he's so well pronounced about it that you're kind of, hmm. Admittedly, while you're thinking, you know, I probably should get out of this murder house, this guy's kind of got some interesting points. It does go on for quite a bit, but it does have a good hook. It's just a conversation, a conversation that leads into another room that leads to a conversation which leads to another room, which leads to a conversation, and it's very well done. I will give credit to Scott Beck and Brian Woods, these are the same guys who helped come up with the Quiet Place movie. They really knew how to get you hooked with a very heated conversation topic that you love when it's brought up at Thanksgiving dinner every time. And as they literally go further into the rabbit hole with what Hugh Grant's got going on, you feel fear for these girls because you really feel that they are in this position of lacking control of lacking ability to get themselves out of the situation while at the same time also having sort of a battle of wits and knowledge and of ideologies with Hugh Grant. And while this is, again, a bunch of conversations, the cinematography is on point with keeping you visually engaged. And that's why I definitely got to give credit to cinematographer, I apologize if I butcher this, Chung Hoon Chung, he did a great job. There are some shots in this movie are keeping you locked because of how the information is being portrayed to you, how the information is being fed to you. And it's so good. I was feeling very uncomfortable, but I was very entertained up until the last 15 minutes. Now, obviously endings can be hard. Stephen King is a great example of that. For every good ending he has, he has probably what, like three or four bad endings. But it is a challenge, especially when you have such a good premise and such a good initial start. I know some people might have different opinions, but for me personally, I feel like Beck and Woods knew what to do up until the end, and they had no fucking clue how to end this movie. So they kind of just bleh, it, it. I was so upset with how lazy the ending feels. There are several very well-known cliches that all happen in what feels like the span of a minute. From characters becoming very dumb and unable to see their surroundings, people doing feats that should not be possible, explanations and conclusions coming about because they need to. I did not like how this movie ended at all. I don't mind the very end result with what happens in the final shot of the film. I don't like how it gets there. It loses that intelligence. It loses that feeling of wit that it had. It's very peculiar because you know that there was a good idea in here. There is a good idea in this movie. If a tad bit pretentious, it's there, but it fucks up the landing. It really bothered me. I was so upset when the movie ended. I was like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Maybe make a note about that after I give my rating, but at least to say, yeah, the ending really kind of pissed me off. The movie has a great opening, it has a great hook, it has great characters, and it keeps you engaged, but it completely fumbles the fucking landing. So for that, I'm going to give Heretic a 3 out of 7. I'm very upset by this because it looked like a great movie. The trailer was so good because it gave 
so little away. It is a very small but complex movie. 90% of this movie takes place inside this house. It's really got a great concept, but it doesn't know how to finish itself. Now for the spoiler bit, for those of you who don't want to watch this, go and watch it yourself. I suggest you go and take, have your own opinion, of course. Mine is just my own. You might have a different one. The instant that she stabs him in the mouth, with the letter opener, that's when the movie fell apart for me because then she goes out, she closes the door, and it's like, huh, what is this room? And then she decides to go back into the birdcage basement, and all of a sudden, despite the fact that there's no fucking walls in that room, she was like, oh yeah, there's the hole in the floor that I came out of. Let me turn around. Oh, Hugh Grant's behind me, stab. There is this little bit where she's trying to be, you know, praying for you in terms of the goodness of the act rather than the actual supposed meaning of the act. But then Sister Barnes, who got fucking sl throat slashed and arm ripped open about, what, 15 minutes ago, somehow has enough blood in her to get up and hit Hugh Grant with the board and then actually dies. Just, just so stupid. It's so dumb. Her character would have died of blood loss ages ago. And then she gets out through the vent and she stands out there and she sees the butterfly in her hand, but then it cuts and it shows that the butterfly isn't real. I swear, it's just back in woods being like, Ooh, look at that, we're gonna hide the fact that we don't know how to fucking end this movie with looking real smart. I don't know, that's how I felt. I felt that this ending was dumb. I thought it was so lazy. If you want to talk about it in the comments below, try and hide it a little bit because I don't want to spoil it for other people because like I said, the beginning of this movie is really good. The middle of this is really good. It's the ending that just sucked. But please, give me your guys' thoughts about this movie. I'd love to see what you guys have to say about it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.